I grew up here in Artesia, New Mexico. Been here for most of my life. Me growing up and playing, so I played tight end, it did show me that being on the line, you're an important part of the team, just as well as here as at work. You have an important job to do. <laughs> if you're not there, the, you can't play without you. It's like here, if we're not working together, the job's not getting done. Our teamwork here as a crew is very important. Being a part of the team does motivate me to get up and go to work. On a day-to-day -day basis, we get our memo in the morning, we get in a little group, and we knock it out as a team. We do maintenance we work on exchangers, towers, the asphalt, diesel unit, hydrogen unit, cat unit, valve changes, exchanger pulls. We do work on everything, and uh, we, we do them with a smile. Richard Cooch is one of our ball makers. That he's a he's a level three guy, but he's he's very very smart at what he does. He tries. He he volunteers for a lot of stuff. He's willing to learn. He's wanting to do some safety stuff, and uh, we're progressing him along. Actually, setting him up as a lead type person right now to be supervised. So he's really coming along a long ways. You don't need a degree here. Book work is not going to show you what we're doing around here. We learn by hands on. Here at Holly Frontier Navajo Refining, there's a lot of opportunity to grow and go in different areas of operations. College is not for everybody. Kids coming out of high school, they can come out here and he can make the same money that engineers that have spent six and eight years in school and all he's got to do is come out here and put his head to it and, and this is a, a good place to work. It really is. When I first started here, I didn't know anything. We do have a 40-hour class that we do before we can come out to the plant. That 40-hour class, the people you're working with tell you how to do things. You need to start training, get your hands dirty. It took a while to learn. It's a process. You pay attention to it, and you'll learn it pretty quick. What we do is bring them in at entry level. We teach them for 90 days, your evaluation period, bring you along, try to get you set up in a school. We're going to get you in a craft to become a certified craftsman. You can be a pipe fitter, you can be an electrician, you can be a welder, operator. There's multiple crafts you can be. And we have a lot of opportunities and we have a lot of places all across the country that we, we move people and hire people. I really do enjoy my work. Here, uh, the people I work with, they're real good. You know, you're caring for someone else, looking out for their lives. My crew is a family, you know. It's a real close-knit community. We all work together, our kids go to school together. Uh, so, it's, so it's real personal for us. That helps our workload a lot. It makes it more fun to come to work, and, and we have a good interaction with everybody. It, it, it makes life in general a lot more fun. We work with a great bunch of guys. Everybody's willing to pitch in, do whatever needs to be done. It starts from the top down. I mean, everybody watches out for everybody around here. As any major business or corporation like a refinery, there's a teamwork element that's essential to success. And that starts with caring about each other. The first thing we do is care about each other's safety. Second is environmental compliance associated with our community. Now two thirds of our employees live in the, within a one mile radius of this refinery. Our environmental teamwork not only bodes well for the refinery, it bodes well for their homes and for their families and then for their schools. That's every employee doing their job every day to the best extent they can. I, I take a lot of pride in my work. You always gotta be thinking of what steps you gotta do, procedures, most important, and there's always something new to learn. Every day is a learning experience here. Our jobs are challenging, and more importantly, we actually provide a very viable service for the people in the country. We make fuel. We use fuel for our homes, we use fuel for our cars. You can keep yourself warm in the wintertime. So there's nothing wrong with making fuel, and as a commodity that's used in our communities, and we're proud to make it. After our work day, it's good to go home, relax for a little bit, take my son to soccer practice. My son is in every sport we can get him in. He's a little go-getter and he's a very bright kid. I'm hoping that get him into sports. Being a part of the team is going to give him a good lesson learned in the future of his life. You gotta have him out there. This job does provide for me and my family. In the next five years, I, I'd like to see myself as a safety guy here. I've done it before, I really liked it, and that's what I'm pushing for. There's a lot of steps to climb up here. Not only with this job, but with this plant. You're not staying at the bottom for long. He has a very bright future with us and that as long as he stays with us, we're gonna progress him the way he wants to go. If we've got a guy that shows initiative, we're gonna make sure they get that. We help 
this place run. We're the heart of this place. I love my job. <laughs> I love working here. I wouldn't change it for the world.